What's happening, fam? You know the name, you know the game. J Sinister Productions back again. And of course, this is the month of May, and this is the month of May one year anniversary for J Sinister Productions on YouTube. So we're doing another giveaway. Details will be given towards the end of this video, maybe in the middle, don't know. So if you think you're gonna be slick and just skip to the end, eh, you might miss out. But on the real though, month of May, month of giving, Jason's Productions, and today we're gonna to talk about something that I think we all need to focus on to help us out, especially for those who are creating this type of RC content in the field, something that you really need to focus on, pack up and have ready so you're ready to go on a moment's notice. So let me skip all that because I'm getting broke right now doing all this talking. I gotta pay these bills in order to keep talking. So we gotta roll that intro footage. Jason, production. Back again, as always, thanks to everybody who's been riding with us from day one. Thanks to everyone who just started riding with us. It's all good. I don't care if you're day zero, day one, or day 90. Hey, you're riding with Jason's to Productions. I hope you like what we put out and it's because of you we're able to do what we're able to do. And today I'm showcasing another dope RC channel that I think you all should peep. Yo, True Boys RC, and the motto and slogan, hopefully you can see that, is let's go, baby. Let's go. So, hey, check it. If you've got a content, or excuse me, a channel, and you're dealing with RC content or anything else, and you got some merchandise that you would like for J Sinister Productions to promote on this channel, yo, hit me up on Instagram, shoot me a DM, send me some of your merch, I'll wear it on my channel, promote you, boom and we're all eating at the table. Everyone gets to come to the table to eat. Let me make sure you understand this. We may not all be eating filet mignon and steaks and shrimp every day. It may be some peanut butter sandwiches. It may be some wish me sandwiches. Hell, it may be some mayonnaise sandwiches. I've had some mayonnaise sandwiches when I was a kid and those things are the joint. We all get to come to the table and eat. Likewise, I'm selling some merch. A link is in the description below. Any proceeds that comes from the merchandise that I sell goes back into the channel and it helps me do these things, do these giveaways, provide this stuff for you, the J Sins Productions Posse. So let's move along. All right, fam, you see I have two bags here. Okay, we're only gonna focus on this bag right here, but I do have two different bags and these are RC specific bags. We're not gonna talk about this one. This is the bag I use for my DJI FPV drone and it's got everything in here that I need to fly that drone successfully and bring it home. And potentially if I have to do a small repair in the field, it's in this bag. So let's move this out of the way and talk about this bag. Now this again is the bag that I'm using right now. This is a GORUCK 21 liter GR1, I believe. All right, I've had this for a while. They're not cheap bags, but they're built like a tank. They're very durable. You can use any bag you choose. It's up to you on the size and type of bag that you use, but this is the one that I'm using right now for my RC. It is packed to the gills. Before we jump into this bag, let's talk about the number one thing you should have with you outside, of course, your RC, whenever you go into the field. And that number one thing is a source of hydration, preferably water. All right, now I have a, a Yeti, I think this is a half gallon Rambler, full of water, that's the only thing that goes in here, no sugary substances, just water, half gallon, really dope. The lid, screw top lid on the pour spout is magnetic and there's a little spot let me put this back on before I spill the water. There's a small indentation back here that you can see. Let me show you how cool this is. So you don't have to lay down your lid. You just take this and listen. It's on magnetically, not going anywhere. So, the source of water. You should always have a source of hydration. If you want to take Gatorade or Powerade or any other drink out there with you, that's fine, but you should have, at a minimum, a source of water for two reasons. Number one, not only is this something that you need to maintain your overall health. You get thirsty in the field, by the time you're thirsty, you're already starting to get dehydrated. You wanna have water. And this is also part of your first aid, believe it or not. A simple jug, water bottle filled with water can help clean out any wounds or cuts or problems. Or if your hands get dirty in the field, you don't have anything to wash, you can pour a little water in your hand wipe them off, grab a towel that you keep in the back of your vehicle, and you're good to go. So not only is this just a source of drinking water, it can also provide first aid. So at a minimum, fam, 
consider taking a source of water with you. It doesn't have to be in a big jug like this. All right, this is what I drink my water out of daily. Get any other source of water that you want to use, especially if you're leaving your home to film. Number one, don't forget that. Can't harp on it enough. A source of clean drinking water. Okay, now moving on to the contents of the bag. Again, whatever bag you choose to use for your RC, be it a backpack, be it a duffel bag, be it a Walmart bag, be it a paper sack, it doesn't make a difference. What you want to take with you to the field, choose the bag that you want to use. Again, this is a Go Ruck GR1 21 liter rucksack, all right, built like a tank. So in the outer pocket, I do have an outer pocket here, and I, again, I apologize, this is very dark. It's a black bag, bear with me. One of the things that you want to take with you, at a minimum again, and it's your choice, is some form of repair kit for your RC. In this case, I have an Onyx tool kit and a zip bag, has every small tool that I should need outside of another one that I'll bring in a second that would help me in the field. So this is not all inclusive, it is not all comprehensive, but it's a small tool that will help me make minor repairs, all right, limp home repairs, so I can at least do a few repairs in the field and maybe get back out running, or at least put something back together so that I don't lose parts on the way back home. Mini toolkit, invaluable. Choose the toolkit of, you, of your choice. If you don't want to use one that's already built and put together like this, you have some spare tools laying around like some of your uh, hex nut wrenches that you get with all your RCs for free. You probably got a ton of those laying around. Include those in your kit. I do have some in mind. But another minimum, a toolkit. Very handy, very good to, to have in your bag. If you want to link to this particular kit, I will link it in the description box below. All right, fam, my bad. I did lose audio, so this is a re-recording, so I found some stuff I can cut out to shorten it anyway, but let's go ahead. We've already talked about the tool kits. We're gonna put that back in the bag, open up the bag, and then go on with the rest of the stuff. And we're gonna try to make this as short as possible without leaving out too much information. So next up, we're gonna talk about outside of the water which is the second most, or really the first most important thing. And that is this right here. And this is a individual first aid kit, an IFAC. It's basically, all it is is a first aid kit, self-aid buddy care, so on and so forth. This contains items that you can use on yourself or a friend in case, you know, you get hit with one of these one-fifth or one-eighth scales right in the shin, the ankle, knee, head if there's a jump, whatever it is, this should allow you to stabilize the individual until you can get a hold of the first responders. Because let's be real, if there's an accident and there are no ambulance or first responders around, you become the first responder. If you don't have any idea how to do nine, well, excuse me, how to do any type of first aid, the only thing you should worry about is stabilizing the individual. If there's any bleeding, stop the bleeding, call a qualified professional. In this kit, you have everything you need. You got a face shield, you got burn packets, you got some medical tape, iodine, some antihistamine, some antibiotics, some band-aids, aspirins, and no joke, there's a tampon in here. And let's be real, one of the best things you can use to stop blood, all right, to close up a wound and prevent any more blood from coming out is a tampon. That's what it's made for. And it's not a joke. We used these before in the military. They're in the kits. They may be called something else, but there's an actual tampon in here. Don't be afraid to use it, fellas. It will help stop the blood and potentially save a life. No jokes aside, this is important. You should have this as a minimum in your field kit. In addition, in my kit, I also have my uh, GPS receiver. You know, that's, that's, that's a standard for those who want to track their speed runs. I also have a hex wrench. So if I need to tighten up or loosen or put a hex nut back on the wheel, I've got my hex wrench. It's by Entergy. has two different wrench hex heads on it, one for a 24 hex and another one for a 17 hex. So based off the vehicles that you're running for the day, that's the hex wrench you want to take out or at least at a minimum, take a hex wrench that has more than one head on it. And I know you've got plenty of those laying around from any of the RCs that you bought. I also have a jumper. All right, if I'm just running one battery versus two or one of the batteries goes kaput, 
and I've got a two battery setup. I can always run a jumper and then run off of one battery. It's good to have one of these and keep this in your kit. You can make one, or if you have any other vehicles that came with a two battery setup with a jumper, and you have more than one vehicle like that, you can use one as your backup spare. In addition, in my bag, I have some ND filters for my GoPros, which we'll go over that in a little bit. ND filters are great for getting rid of any glare or uh, let's say if you're shooting over water, any reflection off of the water, this will help take care of that, remove that from your shots, and make them look much, much better. I also have a Fluke laser thermometer. All right, I've got a Fluke. You can get any model you want, but if you want to test your engine temps, your ESC temps, your battery temps, it's good to have one of these on hand so you know if you have a problem somewhere. In addition, it's good for taking your own temps at the field to see if you may be suffering from, let's say, a heat stroke or someone else on the field has a heat stroke. You can use this to give accurate information to 911 if you call so they know what they're up against before they get there. Indispensable tool. You can get a cheap one. You can get an expensive one. I just happen to like Fluke products. Get any one you want. Not mandatory, but it's cool to have in your bag. I use a GoPro mounted hat cam. All right, here's the mount right here. It's it here to the hat with Velcro. I put my GoPro Hero 8, which I'll grab right now. I have that in this camera cube. So I'll pull that out. And we'll kind of go over all this hand in hand. So I have my GoPro Hero 8 black. It slides right in. 3D printed part. Keeps the GoPro at the perfect angle. Anything you're looking at while you're recording, as long as you don't forget to start the recording. I've done that. I know you have too. But anything you're looking at, wherever your head is turned, is what you're picking up on your video. In addition, in this camera cube, I have more GoPros. I have a run cam. Uh, this is not the 4K, but a HD run cam. I also have a GoPro Hero 7 Black. And then just a regular old GoPro Hero 7 in a cage, and I use this 7 on top of the infraction. So I have multiple GoPros. Why do I have multiple GoPros? Multiple angles, all right? So speaking of the multiple angles, that's where these additional tripods come in to play. This is a Gorillapod, a Joby Gorillapod. It has a GoPro Hero 7 black cage on top. And I have one more. Actually, I have two more. Uh, tripods. I have another tripod for my phone. Let me stress, if you do not have GoPros, if you do not have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, use what you have. And many, I should say pretty much all cellular phone cameras are good for stills and video. Work perfectly. But get you a tripod so you can grab different angles from different parts of the field. So let's say you're running in a parking lot that has a lot of space in it. You can set up one tripod right by you, another tripod at the other end of the parking lot, so you get an angle and a shot from both ends. You may miss a perfect power slide or a flip that the vehicle writes itself at the other end. That's where the other tripod and camera comes into play. Speaking of other tripods. Okay, I also keep this Manfrotto, very cheap, collapsible, small tripod on deck. And this is what I can mount, a DSLR camera, a phone, a GoPro, it's very versatile, versatile as far as the mounting system. And I keep this tripod again so I can get as many angles as I need while I'm shooting in the field. And also you can get some very good stills for your B-roll footage if you want to take a still shot of your RC maybe before, after, and during your run. It's good to have that for stable footage. Now, do I take this every time? No, but you should have at least a minimum of one tripod to take to the field with you. And speaking of the tripod, if I decide to, I have one of my DSLRs I take out. This is a Canon M50 with a Sigma 18 to 35 constant 1.8 f-stop lens on here, as well as additional batteries for my GoPro, another rubber cage for the GoPro, just in case I'm gonna, it takes a tumble. This will take all the damage, not the GoPro. I also have a dead cat. So if I'm using my iPhone or whatever phone of choice that I use, which is an iPhone, to record video, this will take out a lot of the wind noise and it will make the audio sound much better versus just using the standard microphone that's in the phone. And I also have an additional wire here for charging if I have to in the field. I also take with me a LiPo safe bag, all right? 
This is a given that you're gonna go out to the field with one or two batteries, maybe four batteries if you're running more than one vehicle. A LiPo safe bag is indispensable, so if you have a problem with the battery, say it swells, you just don't wanna leave it where you're at. You wanna be environmentally conscious and return back to your home with it and dispose of it properly. You wanna put that in this LiPo safe bag so if it does catch fire, at least this will contain most of the damage and it won't damage your vehicle or your surroundings. All right, so that's everything. So let me put this stuff in the bag and I do wanna clean this out because we're coming to the end of the video so I don't wanna have all this clutter out here. So let me just bring everything in. Okay, so let me go ahead and just grab my magic blanket so we can clean this up nice and easy, make it nice and tidy. So fam, there we go, I've got the magic blanket. Now let's remove everything. Okay, so maybe not everything. So I've harped on this enough. You've seen me talk about it in the video previously, and that's the first aid kit. This is the IFAC. This is the Live the Creed first aid kit. And I want someone in the Jay Sinister Productions Posse to win one so you can include this in your field bag if you choose to. So everyone in the JSP Posse is gonna have a chance to win this as part of our month of May month of giving for our one year anniversary and all I need you to do is simple, be subscribed and comment down below and in your comment include the hashtag IFAK, that is Indigo Foxtrot Alpha Kilo IFAK, hashtag IFAK, you'll be interested to win this item as well and if you didn't get it on our current giveaway, check out that video so you can sub up and comment on that video with the correct hashtag. One winner will be announced and someone's gonna get one of these for their field bag free of charge, fam. Not asking you for a thing, but if you wanna give something to the channel, yo, check out the description box below, a link to our merchandise we're selling. Got some t-shirts similar to the True Boys t-shirts that you can rep Jason Mr. Posse and all the proceeds and profits from those sales come back into the channel so we can give away nice things to you. And we got some good giveaways coming up soon. Hopefully we hit that 1000 mark before the holidays because we really wanna set somebody off really nice during that time of year. So fam, I've taken enough of your time. My camera's acting up on me right now so I wanna bounce before it gets any worse. As always, I am Jay of Jay Sinister Productions, exiting stage left. Get your first aid kit, fam. It's worth it. Chinchin 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 Chinchin